Hey guys, so if you're watching this, you're probably looking to get into Gold Division in rank Sky Wars. I wouldn't say it's easy, but like, it definitely gets a lot easier once you know what you're doing. Hence why I'm making this guide in the first place. I tried to get Gold Division four times this year. I ended up getting it this October. So I guess you could say I learned a few things from January to October. So yeah, enjoy the guide. Okay, so first things first, we gotta talk about PvP ability. Now, this is probably one of the biggest misconceptions in all of Sky Wars, and that is PvP ability is the sole factor of how good you are. Or not the sole factor, I'm not sure if anybody believes that. My point is that people believe that PvP ability is way more important than it actually is, especially in ranked. Of course, you actually need to be able to click the mouse and, like, aim somewhat and hold W. Winning and losing fights in ranked is more dependent on gear and outplaying than anything else. With the way ranked Skywars maps are designed, it's always really easy to clean, so just straight up out hitting someone is not really gonna do much. You gotta play smart, you know? Now let's talk about kits. 90% of the time, going for gold division, you're gonna want to use scout kit, as most of you probably already know. Having speed is just so overpowered. Since ranked is obviously a Sky Wars game, there's a lot of void, especially on some maps, so comboing people off the map is very important. In a situation where you're comboing someone off the map, their gear obviously doesn't matter. Scout's also good for open area maps because, once again, speed. Obviously, scout is not for everyone. Other kits like champion, magician, armor, healer, blacksmith, too. The other ones are just kind of useless. To get gold division, all you really have to do is just outplay everybody consistently. Most players are not going to be all that great at PvP. There is a fair amount of cheaters, but once again, game sense is way more important than PvP ability. Obviously, if someone's B hopping or flying, game sense isn't really going to matter that much, but if someone's just using like velocity or something, or maybe reach, there are some ways to counter it. Something else that's very important in ranked is refill. Refill is extremely important in ranked because, like I said before, outgearing people, especially cheaters, is what you want to do. The way refill works in ranked is at the first refill, mid chests or just place chests that are in their original spot will in fact refill with items, but on the second refill, all the chests reappear. But it's very important to get the first and second one. The game always distributes mid loot randomly across different chests, so if there are two chests in their correct spots and the first refill happens, it is possible for one chest to have just XP bottles and the other chest to have literally everything else. You can use this to your advantage by just placing a chest. If you find someone that doesn't really understand refill or doesn't seem like they know you have to place chests, you can just put it down at the last second and get literally all the mid loot. This includes pearls, pots, armor, the fire aspect sword, everything. This will obviously put you at a huge advantage. Another thing you can do is fill a place chest with like just blocks or something covering every item slot. That way the refill won't refill at all because all all the spots are taken up. If you got the first refill, it's gonna be way easier to get the second one because you probably have pearls, and since all the chests regenerate, you're gonna have to pearl in every chest. In general, you just want to be very smart about refill and try to get as much loot as possible for yourself and prevent the other players from getting it. Finally, there are some general game sense tips that I think are important. Like I said earlier in the video, players in gold division are not gonna be all that great, but it's still kind of dumb to aggro on everyone or to have that be your main playstyle. Using scout or champion to rush others islands immediately as soon as the game starts definitely works until about 1k. I think that's the rating where it's like you'll start to find competent players which means that aggroing will probably just result in you getting cleaned. It's also very important to be aware of your surroundings and know when refill is, how many seconds until refill. You should always have a general sense as to where everybody else is and also mid loot is very very important. I know I said the refills are important but like starting mid loot is also very important. Try not to mine the diamonds on your island first thing. Always get the blocks from the chest and then just rush immediately. You'll want to get good at block clutching and have good mobility in general because you're gonna have to get at mid and then out of it really fast before somebody else ends your life or sends you off the map. In conclusion, I think it's very important to just know what's happening in the game and know what to do each round to benefit yourself and hurt the others. So for instance, taking the enchant table and anvil, mid loot, the diamonds on each island, etc. Okay, that was my guide to get gold division and rank Sky Wars. I'm trying to hit 300 subs by the end of the year. It's it, it's it's probably gonna happen, but you know. So yeah, please subscribe if you enjoy the content. If not, don't and leave a dislike. And yeah, thank you for watching.